Hello, welcome to how to solve this radical problem. 2 over 1 plus square root of 5 whole to the power 12. First of all, we make its denominator rational. 2 divided by, we can write this 1 plus square root of 5 as square root of 5 plus 1 and we multiply this expression by square root of 5 minus 1 divided by square root of 5 minus 1 whole to the power 12. Next, we multiply this 2 by this square root of 5 minus 1 and this square root of 5 plus 1 by this square root of 5 minus 1. 2 times square root of 5 minus 1 divided by according to an algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. This is square root of 5 plus 1 times square root of 5 minus 1 is equal to square root of 5 square minus 1 square. Whole to the power 12. Next, 2 times square root of 5 minus 1 divided by this square will be cancelled with this square root and because 1 square is equal to 1 5 minus 1 is 4 whole to the power 12 now from here 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4 now this expression is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 whole to the power 12. Now denominator of this expression is a rational number. Now we suppose this expression is equal to x. Let x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and now we have to find the value of x to the power 12. Now from here if we multiply both sides of this equation we get 2x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 and we move this negative 1 to the left side 2x plus 1 is equal to square root of 5 and from here we take a square of both sides at left side square and at right side square this square will be cancelled with this square root and we take this 2x plus 1 whole square according to an algebraic identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square according to this algebraic identity 2x plus 1 whole square is equal to 4x square plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 5 now we move this 5 to the left side 4x square plus 4x plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. Next 4x square plus 4x plus 1 minus 5 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here if we divide both sides by 4 we get x square plus x minus 1 
is equal to 0. Next, x square, we move this plus x and this negative 1 to the right side is equal to 1 minus x. Now, we have to find the value of x to the power 12 that is equal to x square whole to the power 6. Now, here we put the value of x square from here 1 minus x is equal to the value of x square is 1 minus x whole to the power 6. Next, this expression 1 minus x whole to the power 6 can be written as 1 minus x whole square and whole to the power 3. Next, we take a square of this 1 minus 1 x according to an algebraic identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2 a b plus b square. According to this identity 1 minus x whole square is equal to 1 minus 2 x plus x square whole to the power 3. Next, in place of this x square, we put the value of x square from here 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus 2 x plus here we put the value of x square 1 minus x whole to the power 3. Next, this one plus this one 2 and minus 2 x minus 1 x minus 3 x whole to the power 3. Next, we can write this 2 minus 3 x whole to the power 3 as 2 minus 3 x whole square times 2 minus 3 x. Next, we take the square of this 2 minus 3x according to an algebraic identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. According to this identity 2 minus 3x whole square is equal to 4 minus 12x plus 9x square times this 2 minus 3x, 2 minus 3x. Next, 4 minus 12x plus 9 times, here we put the value of x square, 1 minus x from here. The value of this x square is 1 minus x times this 2 minus 3x, 2 minus 3x. Next, 4 minus 12x plus 9 times 1 plus 9 and plus 9 times negative x minus 9x times 2 minus 3x. Next, 4 plus 9, 13 and negative 12x, negative 9x, negative 21x times 2 minus 3x. Next, we multiply this 13 minus 21 x to this 2 minus 3 x. 13 times 2, 26 
and 13 times negative 3x minus 39x and minus 21x times 2 minus 42x and minus 21x times minus 3x plus 63x square next 26 minus 39x minus 42x minus 81x plus 63 times here we put the value of x square 1 minus x next 26 minus 81 x plus 63 times 1 plus 63 and plus 63 times negative x minus 63 x next 26 plus 63 89 and minus 81 x minus 63 x minus 144 x now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 we have supposed that x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 now here we put the value of x square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 89 minus 144 times value of this x square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 and from here 2 1 time and 2 7 times 2 2 times and here left 89 minus 72 times square root of 5 minus 1 next 89 minus 72 times square root of 5 minus 72 times square root of 5 and minus 72 times negative 1 plus 72 next 89 plus 72 161 minus 72 times square root of 5 this is the final answer that is approximately equal to 0 0.0031